Chapter 15 A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. The tongue of the wise commends knowledge, but the mouth of fools gush out folly. Yahweh's eyes are everywhere, keeping watch on the evil and the good. A gentle tongue is a tree of life, but deceit in it crushes the spirit. A fool despises his father's correction, but he who heeds reproof shows prudence. In the house of the righteous is much treasure, but the income of the wicked brings trouble. The lips of the wise spread knowledge, not so with the heart of fools. The sacrifice made by the wicked is an abomination to Yahweh, but the prayer of the upright is his delight. The way of the wicked is an abomination to Yahweh, but he loves him who follows after righteousness. There is stern discipline for one who forsakes the way. Whoever hates reproof shall die. Sheol and Abaddon are before Yahweh. How much more, then, the hearts of the children of men? A scoffer doesn't love to be reproved. He will not go to the wise. A glad heart makes a cheerful face, but an aching heart breaks the spirit. The heart of one who has understanding seeks knowledge, but the mouths of fools feed on folly. All the days of the afflicted are wretched, but one who has a cheerful heart enjoys a continual feast. Better is little with the fear of Yahweh than great treasure with trouble. Better is a dinner of herbs where love is than a fattened calf with hatred. A wrathful man stirs up contention, but one who is slow to anger appeases strife. The way of the sluggard is like a thorn patch, but the path of the upright is a highway. A wise son makes a father glad, but a foolish man despises his mother. Folly is joy to one who is void of wisdom, but a man of understanding keeps his way straight. Where there is no counsel, plans fail, but in a multitude of counselors they are established. Joy comes to a man with the reply of his mouth. How good is a word at the right time! The path of life leads upward for the wise, to keep him from going downward to Sheol. Yahweh will uproot the house of the proud, but he will keep the widow's borders intact. Yahweh detests the thoughts of the wicked, but the thoughts of the pure are pleasing. He who is greedy for gain troubles his own house, but he who hates bribes will live. The heart of the righteous weighs answers, but the mouth of the wicked gushes out evil. Yahweh is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayer of the righteous. The light of the eyes rejoices the heart. Good news gives health to the bones. The ear that listens to reproof lives and will be at home among the wise. He who refuses correction despises his own soul, but he who listens to reproof gets understanding. 
The fear of Yahweh teaches wisdom. Before honor is humility.